Girl. But now I'll tell thee joyful tidings, girl. And joy comes well in such a needy time. What are they, I beseech your ladyship? Well, well, thou hast a careful father, child, one who, to put thee from thy heaviness, has sorted out a sudden day of joy that thou expect not, nor I look not for. Madam, in happy time. What day is that? Mary, my child, early next Thursday morn, the gallant young and noble gentleman, the county Paris, at St. Peter's Church shall happily make thee a joyful bride. Now by St. Peter's Church, and Peter too, he shall not make me there a joyful bride. I wonder at this haste, and I must wed, ere that he should be my husband comes to woo. I pray you tell my lord and father, madam, that I will not marry yet. And when I do, I swear it shall be Romeo, whom you know I hate, rather than Paris. These are news indeed. Here comes your father. Tell him so yourself, and see how he will take it in your hands. When the sun sets, the air doth drizzle dew. But for the sun sets of my brother's son, it rains downright. How now, a conduit girl? What? Still in tears, ever more showering, in one little body? Thou counterfeits the bark, a sea, a wind, for still thy eyes, which I may call the sea, do ebb and flow with tears. Thy bark, thy body, sailing with the salt flood, the winds, thy sighs, who raging with thy tears, and they with them, without a sudden calm, will overset. Thy temptest tossed body, how now, wife, have you delivered to her our decree? Ay, sir, but she will none. She gives you thanks, I with the fool were married to her grave. Soft, take me with you, take me with you, wife. How will she none? Doth she not give us thanks? Is she not proud? Doth she not count her blessed? Unworthy as she is that we have wrought her so worthy a gentleman to be her bridegroom? Not proud you have, but thankful that you have. Proud I can never be of what I hate, but thankful even for hate that is met love. How, 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 chop logic? What is this? Proud, and I thank you, and I thank you not, and yet not proud? Mistress Minion, you think we know thankings, nor proud we know prouds, but feel your fine joints against Thursday next, to go with Paris to St. Peter's Church, or I will drag thee on a hurdle thither. Out, you green sickness carry-on! Out, you baggage, you tallow face! Fie, fie, what? Are you mad? Good father, I beseech you on my knees. Hear me with patience but to speak a word. Hang the young baggage, disobedient wretch! I tell thee what, get thee to church a Thursday, or never after look me in the face. Speak not, reply not, do not answer me. My fingers itch. Wife, we scarce thought us blessed with that God had lent us but this only child. But now I see that this one is one too much, and that we have a curse in having her. Out on her, Hilding. God in heaven bless her. You are to blame, my lord, to bring her so. And why, my lady wisdom? Hold your tongue, good prudence. Smatter with your gossips. Go. I speak no treason. Oh, Goddy Godden. May not one speak? Peace, you mumbling fool. Utter your gravity over gossip's bull, for here we need it not. You are too... You are too hot. <laughs> and then to have a wretched pulling fool, a whining mammoth in her fortunes tender, to answer, I'll not wed, I cannot love, I'm too young, I pray you pardon me. But, and you will not wed, I'll pardon you, graze where you will, you shall not house with me, look to it, think on it. I do not use to jest, Thursday is near, lay hand in heart advise, and you be mine, I'll give you to my friend. And you be not, hang, beg, starve, die in the streets. For by my soul I never acknowledge thee. Nor what is mine shall never do thee good. Trust to it, bethink you, I'll never be forsworn. Done. Go. Is there no pity sitting in the clouds that sees into the bottom of my grief? O oh, sweet my mother, cast me away not. Delay this marriage for a month, a week, or if you do not, make the bridal bed in that dim monument where Tybalt lies. Talk not to me, for I will not speak a word. Do as thou wilt, for I'm done with thee. O oh God, O oh nurse, how shall this be prevented? My husband is on earth, by faith in heaven. How shall that faith return again to earth, unless that husband sent it me from heaven by leaving earth? Comfort me, counsel me. Alack, alack, that heaven should practice tricks upon so soft a subject as myself. What sayest thou? Has not not a word of joy? Some comfort, nurse. Faith, here it is, where we is banished, not the world to nothing. 
that he dares ne'er come back to challenge you. Or if you do, he, mu he must be made by stealth. Then since the case of sins it now doth. I think it's best you married with the county. Oh, he's a lovely gent gentleman. Rome is a dishcloth to him. An evil, madam. Hath, knows, hath not so green, so quick, so fair an eye, as pair sath beshew my very heart. I think you are happy in this second match. For excels your for first, or if it did not, your first is dead, or twere as good were, as living here and you no use of him. Speaks thou this from my heart, and from myself, um, from my soul to else beshew them both. Amen. What? Well, thou hast comforted me marvelous much. Go in and tell my lady I am gone, having displeased my father to Lawrence his cell, to make confession and to be absolved. There, well, this is wisely done. Ancient damnation, O oh, most wicked fiend! It is, is it more sin to wish me thus forsworn, or to depraise my lord with that same tongue which she hath praised him with above compare so many thousand times? Go, counselor. Thou and my bosom henceforth shall be twain, out to the fire to know his remedy. If all else fail, I myself have power to die. Now I'll tell thee. Wait. Wait for Xanum to go. But now I'll tell thee joyful tidings, girl. And joy comes in such a needy time. What are they, I beseech your ladyship? <laughs> go. But now I'll tell thee joyful tidings, girl. And joy comes well in such an easy time. What are they, I beseech your ladyship? Well, well, thou hast a careful father, child. One who to put thee from thy heaviness hath sorted out sudden day of joy. <laughs> but now I'll tell thee joyful tidings, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'll tell thee joyful tidings, girl. And joy comes well in such an easy time. What are they, I beseech your ladyship? Well, well, thou hast a careful father, child, one to who to put thee from thy heaviness hath sorted. <laughs> but now I'll tell thee joyful tidings, girl. And joy comes well in such a needy time. What are they, I beseech your ladyship? Well, well, thou hast a careful father, child, one who to put thee from thy heaviness hath sorted out a sudden day of joy that thou expects not, nor I look not for. Madam, in happy time. Happy time. What no. day is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Do ebb and flow with tears. The dark bark. <laughs> when the I'm sorry, that's my last one. See, thou counterfeits the bark, I see a win. <clears throat> I missed up two lines. <laughs> Do ebb and flow with tears, the bark thy body is, sailing in the salt flood, the wind the sighs. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 